back to 1973. I think I met Stan in 1973. Um, and this is the world of 1973. We've seen some pictures of it uh, earlier on. I mean, I like the, uh, the Ford Escort police car, basically. The police wouldn't be seen dead in this sort of thing these days. But, uh, uh, and the flexor writers and the punch tape, etc. Um, and I got to know Stan because onto this world dropped this paper. Insoluble problems in shopping model calibration when the trip pattern is not known. That's a very modern rendition. Of course, the trip pattern is still not known, uh, sort of nearly 40 years on, in a sense. Uh, and in many senses, there's a mismatch between, well, it, it, in some senses, it suggests that uh, what we do does have lasting value, in a sense, relative to the, uh, the technologies and the media in the background. Anyway, the reason why I got interested and met Stan, I think, in 1973, was because I was a, a research assistant, then a lecturer at Reading, and Peter Hall was the uh, editor of regional studies until 79. He was editor from 67 to 79, and then I think John Goddard took over. Um, and um, down the corridor in Reading, for, with Peter's uh, room, were a bunch of lecturers and research assistants, uh, and his secretary used to actually uh, go down the corridor when the papers came in and give them to people and say, will you review this for regional studies? So you can safely say that the majority of papers in regional studies between 1967 and 1979 were reviewed by lecturers of various sorts at Reading. And I got to review this paper, uh, which was obviously submitted, uh, as you can see, 18th of December 72. Um, and, and I think I was very impressed by it because uh, uh, Stan was at, uh, at uh, Durham County Council at that point. Uh, and in a sense, the, a, co a collaboration began between a number of us, Ian Massa, myself, Peter Brown, and, uh, and Stan, and various other people, uh, in terms of looking at spatial interaction problems. Okay, um, let, I, I say that I don't remember quite when I actually met Stan, but somebody recently sent me a, a photograph on this photograph of Churchill College in June 1974. This was the Marcel Eshini Land Use Models Conference, and the person who sent it to me from Turkey uh, quite recently, within the last year, suggested that some people in the background were Alan Wilson and uh, Marcel Eshenik uh, walking along, and I blew the thing up and sent it to them. They said, no, it's not us at all. But looking at this picture, um, it looks to me, I think this person at the top right is me, see the lapels, and this looks like you, Stan. Now, I never knew whether you went to that conference or not. Um, but it's kind of consistent, in a sense, with spatial interaction, etc., in those years. Interestingly enough, uh, that person there is Lionel March, the first editor of Environment Planning B, I think, uh, uh, in that context. And we can speculate forever about this because the photo's not good enough resolution to really get much more out of it. However, um, uh, began our collaboration on spatial interaction models, from which came the modifiable aerial unit problem. And uh, uh, this photograph is very resonant because... Um, uh, you can see uh, me and Stan. I didn't know Dave Unwin would be uh, at this meeting, but you can see Dave Unwin. Dave, by the way, um, the photo that Martin just showed uh, suggested you were younger in 1989 than in uh, 1978. Uh, you looked a hell of a lot younger in that photograph. But nevertheless, um, as you can see, the various styles, and there are some uh, interesting early quantitative geographies in that sense. I I'm going to stop at this point, but just to say that uh, the, uh, this led to the... Uh, European quantitative uh, uh, conferences, quantitative geography conferences, which were really taken over, I think, mainly by uh, Denise Poumain in, in, uh, in France, but nevertheless have circulated uh, around. This was the Anglo-German-French uh, conference, the first one in 78. And I remember quite vividly uh, Stan uh, giving the first display uh, of the overhead, uh, we're going to see it. We're going to see a reenactment, I think, of uh, uh, the way uh, Stan presented things at some point. Uh, there is an overhead projector here, etc. Uh, but nevertheless, I remember quite vividly uh, at the end of Stan's presentation, a tour de force. Sta Stan standing in a great pile of overhead projector slides, like saying "but and" etc. Spatial interaction. Okay, uh, Chris, now. Yes. <laughs>